okay, we just need a bit of green on this stalk. And I might knock down that edge a bit just with another thin layer of paint. I'm a great believer in mixing your own greens so that you don't have them too garish when you're first starting painting. But for some occasions, there are just some pre-mixed greens that you can find that are just perfect for what you're after. This is a green gold. So if we look at um, the image we're working from, you'll see how it's yellower towards the tip and then goes greener towards the end. So what I'm gonna do is start with the pure yellow and just paint that in over the entire of the stalk. Now add some of the green gold to it. Just work it over the top. Take a very thin bit of that just on the very tip. And to get this darker green, we're going to need another blue just to really give it that punch. This is a Tharlow blue. This is the one with a red bias because I don't want it to go too, too strong. That's looking quite nice. If you ever lose your drawing a bit, like on the edge there, you know, just simply get some more of the white and just work it back over it. And with a very thin amount um, of the same yellow that we've used on the stalk. It's 
Let's give this shadow under here a little blush. And what that'll help to do, is it'll help to make the red look redder because you've got green on either side of it. Might even put a little bit on there. Just to knock that in. So now I'll just check the drawing and see I can go a bit darker under here. But in essence, there we have a very simple cherry painting. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School. If you'd like to learn more advanced acrylic painting techniques, have a look at my course, The Art of Acrylics.